All right. Raise me up. You raise me up. You hear that? One of the biggest reasons young Josh Groban has sold more than 23 million albums. He's also sold out three world tours, and he's collaborated with some of the biggest recording artists in history. New CD, DVD out today, Awake Alive. And I sat down with Josh to talk about his fans, the fame, and his life off the stage. Simply known as The Voice, Josh Groban is back. With his new CD, Groban goes back to the arena where it all started. A stirring live performance before 15,000 fans who go by the name Grobanites. I recently had the ultimate Grobanite experience, a chance to sit down with the singer one on one. We haven't sat down with you like this. No, this before. is our first time. Uh -huh. We've, we were just talking about how we went up in a hot air balloon at one point, and we've, <laughs> right. we always see each other in passing here. Uh -huh. But uh, no, it's a great thrill to talk to you again. In all sincerity, you have been very good to us over the years. I did. I mean, when I when I think about you know I, you guys were right there at the beginning to allow me to, to sing sometimes at you know right 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 early in the morning. And sing he does on his latest CD and DVD, Awake Live. Groban proves why he's a pop sensation with a classical crossover. It was shot in Salt Lake City. It was, right, yeah. And completely live. What, is there a difference when it's shot live like that as opposed to being, how is it different than being in a studio? Well, I mean, I, I love both uh, processes equally. I mean, when I'm in the studio, I, you know, you have the, you have the, uh, the opportunity to create something that is, you know, forever, and so you mm -hmm. do it as many times as you need to. When it's live, the great thing about it is it's just, it's just one time and it's done, so you can feed that energy and you get a little more nervous about going out there, but I think those nerves are great because they, they kind of bring you to a place where you're not thinking about it. I've been around now for a while, and I've seen a lot of different fan groups and that. Yours are so amazing and so giving. Mm. Um, they they follow you, of course, but also your charity work. They yeah. they become a part of it. That oh. has to just thrill you. It makes me so proud to see that their energy towards me and my music is totally equal to their energy yeah. for humanitarian efforts and, and, and things that I'm involved with. They presented me with a check for $25,000 at one of my concerts saying, we love the work that you've done in Africa. Here, start your own foundation. And then, can I, can I also be honest, when I look at them, Everyone from teenagers to grandmas, you know, you've got, you just run the gamut. What is it about your, your appeal? You don't really know who's out there till you go on tour. And so, well, actually, one of the songs in, in the in the DVD, I, I during my violinist solo, I'm actually running to the back of the house, and I'm able to walk through from the very back to the stage. I'm able to actually sing up close and walk through and shake hands and really see who's out there. When you're up on stage, sometimes it's just this abyss. And when I'm walking through, it is. I'm seeing blue-haired old ladies with, uh, <laughs> you know, with their pierced granddaughters. You're having yet another incredible year. But I have to tell you, my friend, when I saw you at the Grammys, your performance with Andrew Bocelli, Thank with, you. The, with the uh, tribute yeah. to Pavarotti, blew me away. It's been a year of full circle moments for mm. sure. I mean, uh, being able to share this, the stage with uh, the great Andrea, he's been a great friend of mine and somebody that was central to, to my, the beginning of my career. So uh, to add to that, to, to pay tribute to uh, mm. really one of the greatest singers of our generation was uh, a great honor for both of us. You're 27 years old. <laughs> Man, it's been, it's been amazing. When I think about the things that have happened in, that, in those mm. 10 years. So keep me away. You know, every time you take a risk, every time you think you're putting something to the side to do something else, that thing will always come back. I'm having the time of my life. Awake live in stores today, and I feel bad for our audience because, like, Josh Groban's here. We're like, oh, well, yeah, but he'll be back performing live from Bryant Park on May 16th in part of our GMA's summer concert series. I got you on camera again. That's got to be worth something. Come on. And you can see more of my interview with the talented Mr. Groban on GMA now. Coming up.